friends welcome to free cat tutorial and in this tutorial we will discuss about the topological naming problem what it is in free cat and does it is in free cat or in other cat software also so we will here compare the solidworks and free cat on this topological naming problem and i think that uh, this is a uh, not a problem it is a modeling approach how you can make your models if you make your model in a parametric way and uh, if you link the values of your plane or your extrusion with a formula then you will not get this problem so we will see first in a solidworks the solidworks have the topological naming problem so here i have uh, created a two sketch one on the top plane and other on the right plane with a uh, hundred mm square so first i will select this my sketch one and i will extrude in this directions to and fro and then one on the top and bottom and then we will create a box on the top and we will see how solidworks behave so for this I will select this my sketch and I will say extrude and here I will give 100 mm and I will select here mid plane and I will say ok now on the top I will create a sketch yeah, and I will draw a very rough square and I will exit from the sketch and then I make extrusion of 100 mm and I will say ok now I have uh, extruded in uh, top and bottom 50 mm 50 mm now I will delete my best extrusion and I will keep this shape same I will delete my first so now I have uh, extruded in this direction to and fro now I will extrude from top to bottom and I will delete this one so I will delete this one and I will say close now I will select my sketch 2 and I will say extrude and I will keep it to the mid plane and I will say ok so you can see that our shape of the part is the same but still we are getting this error on this sketch because face is missing so what basically software does when we create any part so when we create any part then software recognize the face it's give, it has its internal naming system for example it uh, recognize it is phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 it give it give the naming to the faces so so when we delete any base features then respective naming get disturbs so for example if i suppress this feature here So in first extrusion it might be drawn on any X face and then when we have uh, deleted our sketch and we have did the extrusion to our second sketch then this face got switched to X to Y. So that's why this is the topological naming problem. So what the SOLIDWORKS telling us to redefine the face so if I go for this sketch and uh, if I go for the edit sketch plane so we can see that clearly here sketch face is missing so that is the basically a topological naming problem so to avoid this type of a problem we have to avoid uh, creating the sketching on the faces so for better approach you should 
make it using the offset plane for example if I wanted to draw these features then I will offset my this plane to the 50 mm at the top and on that plane I have to make this my box feature so whenever I delete this feature this will not change because SOLIDWORKS will assign a name to my offset plane so that is the topological naming problem and I think this topological naming problem is uh, exist in a SOLIDWORKS also so for better approach we have to design our part with the plane or we have to link our plane dimension with the pad which on which we are going to create our face so now uh, we will do the same thing in a free CAD and I will use the same sketch in fact I can use this box like features but uh, it uh, it has a dedicated page on topological naming problem so I will use the same profile so I will go to the free CAD and create a sketch and here I will create my body and uh, on this XY plane I will create a sketch and uh, I will select the polyline and I will draw a similar shape better to I will delete all this hide my origin plane I simply draw a rectangle then I will trim the two sides so I will then I will go for the trim I will trim and I will make a similar shape and I will close it and then I will go for the extrude I will go for the extrude and I will give it 100 mm and now on this face I will create my another sketch and I will uh, draw a rectangle and I will close it and I will give pad and here I will give 100 mm I will say ok now on this face I will create another sketch and I will uh, draw the square approximate square and then I will extrude it to the 100 mm now uh, we will modify this middle one that is pad 001 now I will change its shape from vertical to horizontal I'm not going to dimension it I will just make it approximately and I will close it so you can see the feature is not failing until I have a uh, change its position now now what we will do we will uh, extend this face to the outward directions as we can see in the tutorial here here so until here it is fine now we will extend it so I will go here and I will extend it and I will say close now you can see that pad 002 is failing where pad 001 is fine so the problem is that FreeCAD recognize the features as we create it so same way it has recognized features this phase 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five six seven like that and now if you see here that in this documentation also explains that uh, how this face has been changed because when we have extended it here then a new face has been created here so this is the topological naming problem so fix that I will click on the sketch and I will click on here attachment editor attachment editor and now I will select this face and I will say OK and I will refresh it so you can see that the error has been gone so this is the how we have redefined the face like SOLIDWORKS is also telling us to redefine the face if I go here then it is also saying me the missing face so if we redefine it then we can solve our problem in SOLIDWORKS so this is what in a free CAD also so I think that uh, this topological naming problem for which free CAD has been criticized but it is a not a problem it is a it is how a software works any 3d softwares either it may be free CAD SOLIDWORKS Autodesk Inventor so we have to understand the naming how software gives the namings to the faces and feature and how it's linked so for, for better understanding you can install this dependency graph which will give you the graph how the features links with each other and now how we can avoid this problem so for that I will delete my feature delete Deleted. so if I wanted to create a sketch on this face so I do not have to directly create the sketch on this face for better modeling approach and if you want to avoid this type of a problem then what I will do I will on my plane and I will select my XY plane and I go for the datum plane and to avoid this type of a problem it is uh, advisable that uh, I will select this plane and I will create a datum plane here and here in the Z direction I will give the 100 mm so if I give to the 100 mm here and if I say ok and if I change my pad height to 100 to 200 then my plane will not update so I have to link my plane that free cat having the options that you can link your datum plane with formula so here I will give the my extrusion is a pad dot length so you can see that it is 100 mm and I will say ok now I will off my plane so now here if I change my height to 100 to 200 so my datum plane also changed and if I wanted to draw the my second feature here then I have to again make a plane as I change the pad height my datum plane change so to avoid the topological naming problem that we have to use the plane as FreeCAD is also recommending so if I wanted to make the second feature then I will select this face and I will say sketch and I will draw a rectangle and I will give it a pad of 100 mm and I will say ok now we have made the pad here of uh, 100 mm now we will so this is the 200 plus 100 300 so I will select this plane my XY plane I will say the datum plane 
and uh, here in z direction I will go for the pad dot length so this is 200 plus pad 001 dot length dot length so this is the 300 so now from here it is a 200 plus 100 300 now I will say OK. Now I will select my this datum plane 001 and I will say sketch and then I will make my box and I will say it extrude of uh, 100 mm. So now if I change my middle portion pad this pad to 100 to 500 mm and I will say ok so you can see that my top feature is not failing here and now we will change the shape so for this I will go here and I will changes to this one and I will also extend it and I will say close so you can see that even after making this face outside my feature is not failing because it is this is not made on the face this is made on the plane so this feature is not failing even after extending to the outside this extra face is added now uh, we will we will change this pad to the 100 mm and let's see how models behave 100 and this pad to the 100 and this one we will change is to the 50 50 and now we will make this inside let's see does our part fail so we, I will make it to the inside so you can see that now it is not failing so that is the right approach to make the parametric model so as long as you will link your dimensions with one features to the other either you are making a datum plane or pad your model will not break so this is how we can fix the topological naming problem i hope you have liked this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel and if you like my method of teaching then please support me on coffee.com your small support will help this channel to grow i will come with more useful tutorial on a free care thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time